welcome back to my channel and if you're not already please like comment share and subscribe and follow me on all social media so the links will be down the links will be down in the description and for today's video i got a request to tell scary stories and i personally do not have any like scary stories or scary experiences so i just searched up scary stories on google and these right here are from mashable but the people that wrote them come from reddit so let's get started so this first one is called ouija board knocks back in high school my friends and i were messing around with the ouija board one night we had done it before and nothing remarkable had ever happened we usually did it to try to scare each other's girlfriends we all thought it was a joke that night there one was no one home else except the seven of us and we were all together around the board one of the girls they wanted to try it she had never done it before this time was different the board misspelled some of the words the same way every time it gave answers that seemed really historically accurate for a town things we never knew or cared about long story short the spirit claimed it was 10 a 10 year old boy who had died on the property in the 1800s and was buried there to an un unmarkable grave my friend's house was on a farm in the edge of town we were all a little freaked out because the board had never been so detailed and consistent however we were a little skeptical and we were all assuming one of us was trying to scare the rest finally my friend asked if the spirit could do something to prove he was there with us it went to yes and then spelled out knock then the planchette stopped moving stop moving we all stared at it silently and there was a rap rap on the window right next to us the lights were on outside and there was absolutely no one out there we never touched that fucking board again god damn this was this was something i have never played the ouija board and i literally would not play it ever in my life because i don't mess with these spirit stuff so on to the next one. So this next one is called Phantom Alarms. This is about a strange occurrence in their dad's home. So when I was in high school, I had a lot of these experiences. At the house my dad lived at the time, it was really old, built in the early 1800s. There were plenty of times I'd be sitting in the living room and distinctly heard the cabinets opening and closing in the kitchen. It was just me and my dad that lived in the house and you could clearly see when his bedroom door was shut and he was asleep, but still hear it. Normally, my dad would work seven to three, but occasionally worked at p.m. or overnight shift. One night he was working until 11. I was 17 at the time. Around eight or so, I'm sitting in my room playing Borderlands and think I hear footsteps coming from the living room, which was adjacent to my bedroom, and assume my dad's work home early. My dad's home early. Go back to playing Borderlands. I keep hearing the steps, so I pause the game and listen, and the footsteps are just slowly pacing back and forth between the living room and the kitchen in a steady rhythm. I laid in bed, scared of shit, and actually counted the steps. Every time it took 15 paces to the living room, 15 back to the kitchen. I Needless mean, to say, I did not fucking sleep that night. I had another situation at my mom's house. About two years prior to this, I don't know where my alarm clock will go off. At midnight every night i assumed it was busted and got rid of it fast forward two years my mom gets another brand new alarm clock from my room also when i was 17. suddenly alarm goes off at midnight i thought nothing of it turned turned it off happened again the next night and then my sister pointed out the old one i had that did it so i checked to make sure no alarms were set double check that 11 56. sure enough four minutes later my alarm goes off freaked out i threw it out the next night was my dad's night to have me. I had a buddy of mine over and my dad was working that night. He left for work around 2 a.m. and my friend had brought over an iPod dog to listen to music on. Didn't have a clock set or anything. My friend knew nothing of the last couple nights, so I knew he wasn't just fucking with me. So about two minutes after my dad leaves, we heard an alarm clock coming from my room. I went in and you know, and you know, if you just plug in a clock without setting it, the numbers just blink on and off. Well, it was doing that, and as soon as I picked it up, the clock set itself to 12, 
and then just turned off by itself. So yeah, fuck paranormal shit. I'm not religious and all. I am 100% convinced that it happens. Yeah, I don't fuck with paranormal shit either. This is the last one I'm gonna do, and it's called Mom's Scary Boyfriend. This person noticed that their mom's boyfriend was pretty weird, but one cold night, they had an especially bad feeling. About five years ago, my mom started dating a guy she met on a dating site. That part is fine. I had recently started dating the woman who would later become my wife and we had met online. I'll just refer to her as my wife for this story. Anyway, my wife and never, my wife and I never really liked this guy. We didn't think he was meant or anything like, mean or anything like that. Just a little creepy. He was quiet. He kept his eyes closed a lot, and occasionally said odd things like offering my wife a chocolate, and then popping one of his mouth, closing his eyes and moaning like he melt, moaning as he left it, moaning as he let it melt in his mouth. Mom. One time, my wife and I were visiting my mom, but she got called into work, so we waited at her house. Her boyfriend was over, but he spent the several entire several hours just hanging out in her bedroom with the door closed. Just before Christmas, my mom and this guy started having some difficulty. My wife and I were visiting her for the holidays, and she dropped all of her problems on us. And we care listened carefully and told her our opinions and suggested that she would be better off without him. She already had her mind made up though, and decided to break with, break up with him on Christmas Eve. We spent the night at my mom's and got up early on Christmas morning to visit my dad at his house. We didn't plan to spend the night at my dad's, but we, we got snowed in and snowed in, which was actually a nice Christmas surprise. The next day, we left as soon as we could get through the snow, and my wife suggested that we stop at my mom's house on the way so that we could see if she was okay. My wife had a really bad feeling about my mom's now ex-boyfriend. My mom's car was in the driveway, but that doesn't mean much because she lives close enough to her work that she often walks and it hadn't snowed in her town. In her town. She also never locks the door, which drives me crazy, so we let ourselves in. That's when we see blood oozing out of the refrigerator's water dispenser. It had, it had filled up the spill container and was leaking onto the floor and had made a puddle. My wife screamed and I freaked out. I fully expected to see my mom's head in the freezer. I nervous, nervously opened the freezer to find it. A bag of frozen cherries that had been opened crammed into the freezer so that it fell into the ice dispenser and melted. Thought my mom was decapitated by her creepy ex-boyfriend. Oh my God, are you kidding me? My eyes got even watery, I was like, oh shit. Oh my god. Oh, let's just read one more and that's it. Four years ago, um, this this is called She Heard It Through the Wall. This haunted story comes from Reddit user blank. Four years ago, I lived in a very large firm, farmhouse that was converted into two apartments. The house was known at the, as the old boys' home. It was used to house boys with behavioral issues but, the close, but was closed due to allegations of molestation. Anyway, I was living with my boyfriend and three-year-old daughter at the time. My bedroom ha had a large fireplace that had been ported up and painted over. I decided to push my bed up against it one day while rearranging my things. It was like a headboard. It was like a headboard. That night around 1 a.m., I had heard a small voice saying, Mom, Mom, Mommy. I had sat up in our bed but didn't see anything. So I reached over my boyfriend trying to grab down to... My boyfriend trying to grab down what the fuck <sighs> i had sat up in her bed but didn't see anything so i reached over my boyfriend trying to grab trying to grab down my daughter and put her in her bed i kept feeling around and was still hearing the voice but i couldn't feel her feel her my boyfriend woke up and turned the bedside lamp on asking me what the hell are you doing i explained that Emily was trying to get in her bed and i was reaching for her there was nobody there my daughter was sound asleep in her room. Then the next night came around 1 a.m. My dogs had started to whimper at out her door, so my knee, so my boyfriend got up to take him outside. You know that feeling in the bed when someone lays uh, li lays down next to you, where the bed pushes in and there is warmth on your back. I felt that, so I assumed my boyfriend had come to the bed. I rolled over, my boyfriend was in the bed, and I felt like the fucking bed released pressure. Whatever was laying next to me has gotten up in that second. I moved my bed 
the next day to the other side of the room and had and I never had another incident in the two years I remained in the house. Fuck bro, this this fucking story this freaking story like just I just got so freaking warm right now, like I almost got the, I low key got the chills a little bit. Not really, but like I was like getting so hot right now. But comment down below what you thought of the stories and if you haven't already Comment down below what you thought of the stories and if you'd like me to keep on like doing these type of videos like reading like scary stories online or if you guys have any st scary stories or any just any other interesting stories just comment down them comment them below in the comments and um, if you haven't already please like comment share and subscribe and follow me on all social media the links will be down in the description and thank you guys for watching